The most beautiful thing about living is if you ask for a sign from whoever you believe in, you will get it. One thing I'm starting to learn in my 20s is it's okay to change your mind. There's never going to be a perfect time for anything. Recently, I had a perspective shift. It was about something I already knew, but for some reason, it resonated a little bit more. You know what I think is absolutely insane, but so true? There's never going to be a perfect time, which is why you need to do whatever it is that you're dreaming of right now. Because imagine, imagine if you spend right now all of your 20s doing with what everybody else told you to do. It's not gonna make you happy. I am a believer in following your dreams. was when I turned 60 and I'm in a corporate HR job. Bro, I watched this video where the woman, she she, she chose the safe plan. She's, she, she's in her 30s, she chose the safe plan. And hold up, uh, the video, I, I'm gonna tag it if I can find it, okay? She chose the safe plan, she got a corporate job and then she was let go from that corporate corporate job she gave most of her life away for a corporate job just to find out corporate doesn't give a about you sorry for the cursing but this is this is what makes me so upset we shouldn't need to work nine to fives to survive living bro we're not even living half of the time. This is why people need to go and uh, go out and fucking travel to enjoy life. Nine to fives are not supposed to be how we operate. If if a AI robot is killing itself after being programmed to work a nine to five for the rest of its existence, then maybe, maybe it's not just a human thing. Maybe it's just not fucking tactical. You know what I'm saying? If I'm being honest, maybe the real reason a job hasn't came to me, a job hasn't come my way, like it should like when when you uh let go of things, energy comes back, you know? Maybe the real reason I'm not finding a job right now after applying. I'm telling you, I got on Indeed and I applied every single place that has been open. Not one person has gotten back to me. And you know what? I don't really remember where I applied because I don't really care. I don't want to work a nine to five. It's not practical. It's not, especially for someone like me, someone, if you're like me and you have a big heart and you, you have a dream, follow the dream. Follow the fucking dream because if you don't follow it, you'll be in your 30s and you'll have a corporate job and then you get let go from that corporate job because you decided to listen to everybody else when they aren't on your life path. No one is on your life path. And that's that's the most insane part about this whole thing. The people who judge you, people who criticize you, they are not on the same life path as you. And I say that with my fucking chest. Those people who criticize you, make you feel bad about yourself, those are the most insecure people. And why would you want to listen to an insecure person? If you're insecure, there should definitely be no reason why you're listening to an insecure person. Follow your dreams. You know what, if you're like me and you wanna follow your dreams and you have no money, you don't need money. See that, <laughs> like, I don't need money, but I do need money. I am gonna end up getting a job again, but it's not what I want. I guess it's not really about what I want. 
that's about what I need. And eventually, I am gonna need one. You work a nine to five for the rest of your life with all the money in the world, and you won't be happy because you didn't follow your dreams. I want to see art, I want to see music, I want to see everybody over here following their dreams, sparking their creativity, putting their ideas in the, to, to the world because your ideas matter. Your ideas are your ideas for a reason. And you know what? Your ideas alone can shift somebody's entire mindset. Do you get my drift? This isn't anyone else's life, it's your life. And there's never going to be a perfect time. So if you're in your 20s right now, and you're like me, and you feel the way that I feel, follow your f***ing dreams. <laughs> Who's gonna stop you? Who's gonna stop you from following your dreams other than you? It's, it's deeply rooted in you. Was it really worth it? Was it really worth putting my dreams aside to people please, people who aren't on the same life path as me? Was it really worth it? Because I don't think it was. I, I wish you the best and I hope you thrive in life. If you're looking for a sign, this is it. There's so much uncertainty in the future, but it's all about perspective. I would rather travel the road less traveled if it means success. I know there's gonna be so many obstacles because I've already gone through so many obstacles, but now is the time. I would regret not following my dreams more than I would regret following my dreams. There is no perfect time, and if there was a perfect time, the perfect time is now. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I know I am going to be thriving in my 20s.